It was an act of altruism that ended up costing a young woman her life. In April, devastating images of the earthquake's aftermath in Nepal inspired a young American artist, 25-year-old Dalia Yahia, to come to the region to try to help with relief efforts. Instead, she became the victim of a gruesome crime. Her family posted the news of her death Friday on this Find Dahlia Facebook page. Local police in Nepal say she was killed by a man she had met on Couchsurfing.com, a site that connects travelers with local hosts. The man with whom she was staying recently told authorities he beat her to death with a hammer, reportedly for her iPhone and cash, and then dumped her body in a river. Police are still searching for her remains. He was arrested on Friday. You don't typically see threats to Americans uh, in places like Nepal. It doesn't mean that it isn't possible, but you just typically don't see that. The crime is all the more shocking in a region known for its hospitality. American citizens are some of our best ambassadors, and, uh, and uh, we encourage people to, to explore the world. It's just you got to be smart about that. My name is Dalia Yahya, and uh, I'm an oil painter. Before traveling to Nepal, the Michigan native was exploring career paths. According to LinkedIn, she lived in New York as a video producer, in Arizona as a woodworker and teacher, and in Texas as a high school art instructor. That Austin school posted these photos in tribute. Dahlia had a, an amazing ability to be really smart and really insightful and really thoughtful without taking herself too seriously. Dahlia Yahia's willingness to volunteer in Nepal was no surprise to her former high school principal. Her passion and her compassion for other people put her in a place where she was going to do anything she could to help other people. Her last adventure included travel in the region to Thailand and Kathmandu, through Nepal with a group, and then out on her own to Pokhara. Her family says she stopped responding to messages on August 6. The next day, a small withdrawal was made from her bank account.